Okay, hello there. Looking at uh, my display that I'm getting together that I'm going to put at a craft fair in a few weeks. So yeah, I've been just trying to focus on making chess boards. And then that's going to be my Etsy eventually. Or I hope I can make an Etsy. I'm going to make an Etsy. If I can get some money together. So yeah, I make poor paintings. I have a couple types. A light one and a dark one. And then... I uh, cut them up into these boards. Here's the larger ones. With these edges, like this Tetris piece edges. Let's see what we got back here. We got this one. And then, you know, keep moving these. And then under here, we got the avant-garde one. Which has got a lot going on. It's kind of got a whole backstory. It's in space. And you got these planets, and they all have a moon with different things on them. So, yeah, that's this one. I got one like this. Actually, I have another one like this that kind of sucks. This is the one I'm going to try to, I'd be willing to sell, because I think it's actually better. So I don't want to, you know, sell something crappy. Okay, we did this one. This one's okay. Not a huge fan of this one. And then, let's see, under here, we got these smaller ones that are the same size squares. But they don't have those Tetris piece edges. So I got four little ones like that. They're a foot, a square foot. Um, and then these are also a square foot. But um, these type, like this one too, are two pictures that I wove together. They're not poor paintings. So, and then let's see, we got this one. This one is very low contrast, so I don't know if it would be playable as a chessboard, but I think it's just a neat looking one. And then this one, the, uh, the stained glass windows in the church. I got that uh, pillar coming around the side and that going around the side. You got that dude there, I don't know what he's up to. He's praying or about to do it something i don't know okay okay and then you're wondering what that uh weird one is it's kind of got a goofy shape this is a ur board which is like uh how was it i think archaeologists found these boards ancient sumerian ruins or something and then they didn't know the, the rules for like a long time and they finally found a rule book after the fact. But yeah, it's or it's like a different kind of game. Let me see if I can describe it. I think you go in here, you race your way, whoa, by through the middle, and then you I think loop around and go out. These little uh flower things. I think are an extra roll. There's a couple down in there. So yeah, so that's kind of a just a just a goofy one-off one I made, and it's just a solid pour painting. And I made these these like notches with chopsticks that I painted by. Okay, a few more of these. We got this bad boy. It's blue. If you know the colors, you would have known that already. All right. This one is a lighter one. Okay, you, you can use your eyes. I'm sorry. Oh, this one's pretty good. I like this one. This might be my favorite one. It's got very defined lines. So, yeah, and I used to, you know, I agree that poor painting is not, I don't know, it's not, you don't get specific results. But, like, there's some kind of control. And I've been getting more control as I've been 
going through it. A lot of it is your color palette and that that you use. Um, but you know, as I said, you want to get defined lines. You want to get some little some cells here and there. I'm not huge on trying to make cells. I like to get more like flowery edges and shit like that. This is more what I try to go for. But anyway, yeah. That's what I've been working on. I got a couple more that I'll make before the craft fair. And then, that's what's up. Alright, thank you.